welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I'm really excited because I'm going back to my roots and doing some experimentation. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that for my pouring medium, I normally use the Bare 8300 with Joe Sonia Gloss. Now this is very thick. It doesn't even drizzle. The reason I like it though is because it dries super clear and especially for your sparklies, it really helps them shine. But what people find is because it's so glossy and thick, they have to add a lot of stuff to thin it out. And some people find their cells or lacing gets wonky. So what I wanted to try was this Bare 3300. And you'll notice it's still thick, oh, you can see, but at least it drizzles down. You still need to, now I haven't used this yet, but you'll definitely still need to thin it down. You'll notice though it's a little whiter. So for this, I would only use it in my two paints. So if you use all two paints, maybe if this works, this could be better, or you can mix the two. I've already have two pigments mixed up that I used with my 8300. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix two colors to two paints. So a regular, this Amsterdam Prussian blue, which is a little thicker, and my golden fluid teal. And I'm gonna mix one of each in one of each of these. I'll blow them out. We'll see if they look different wet, and then we'll see if they look different dry. So the two pigments I'm using today I just had them mixed up. I have TLP Emerald and TLP Ball Gown. So it's gonna be simple bloom, but I really wanna try this out. So let's get some mixing cups. These are kind of, they have paint on the outside, but we don't care, right? So I'll need four, two of each. Now, when I'm using my Bare, because it's so thick and gloopy, what I like to do, because I mix up a lot of paints, is I put it in my pouring cup and I thin it down with a bit of my Joe Sonia first. Now I'm not a big measurer. If you watch my stuff, you know it's all about eyeballing, but now at least I can pour it into my cup depending what I'm doing. If I were doing pigments, I would put a splash of my Joe Sonia, a splash of my pigment, mix it up into an ink, and then pour this in because this is gonna thin out with the Joe Sonia already in my cup. When I'm doing these two paints, I'll pour it into my cup and I'll add Joe Sonia in there. So let's do that now. And I'll know for the Amsterdam, I'm gonna need a bit more Joe Sonia because the two paint is thicker. By the way, you can learn all these tips and tricks in the Shelley Art class. I have a 15% off discount code if you want to. So you see, this is just a little bit of Joe Sonia and it's not drizzling. So you really want it to drizzle. So let's thin it down a bit. And remember, when I add the Amsterdam, it's gonna thicken up. So let's see. All right, we're drizzling a bit more, but it's still thicker than what I want it to be when I add my color. So let's thicken that one up. I didn't test the other one yet. What I look for when my paint is added is about a two to three second trace. So this looks a little thin, so it will be perfect when I add my golden teal to it, which is, I have to open it up because it's a little yucky. Ew, it's all dried up. Hold your horses. All right, let's pour it a bit in. Okay. So. Let's see if we like the, cons and I'm gonna try not to mix them up, but um, let's see if we like the consistency of this. Okay, so you can see that it stays up for about two seconds, two to three seconds. So I like this. Okay, so this is the bear. Now let's add the Amsterdam to this. Now I'm gonna want this a lot thinner because the two paint is gonna make it thicker, so let's see. See, it's still pretty gloopy, even before the paint is added. And that's why it's really about eyeballing. Just like anything, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of hours and a lot of knowledge. But this is how you get the bloom down. Okay, so we're okay, it might, get, it might thicken up when I add this too much, but let's see. 
Russian blue. Give it a squeeze. I'm only doing like, this is like two blueberries first. I want the color to be true, but I don't want it to get goopy. So I might have to add a bit more. See, it's all about eyeballing. I might have to add a bit more to paint because this color is really lightening up, meaning there's not enough of the two paint in there, but it's also pretty gloopy. So I'm gonna add more two paint and probably a dash more Josanya. See the difference between the tube and what I mixed? Now with the blues, you don't always get the exact match, but you wanna get close. You have to mix for a while to get all those lines out of it. Okay, and you can see we're pretty gloopy. And this is the joy of the Joe Sonia Bear 8300. It can be a, a lot of back and forth, but that's why, honestly, I rarely actually use two paints. I mostly use um, the golden fluids. Okay, so that's the bear. Let's do this again. Now, I don't even know how much of this, what the ratio of this, usually my bear, I would say, is about two to one, but with this, 3300, let's see. So I'm just gonna like, Put a bit in here, get messy, right? And see what happens. So if I'm gonna pretend to measure, okay, these are four ounce cups. Let's say, I didn't really put two ounces. Let's pretend I put two ounces in here so we can measure. Cause I know you guys like those measurements. Okay, so let's say there's two ounces in here, and let's say I'm gonna put one ounce of Josanya. So let's say it's a two to one again, all right? Can you see what I'm doing? No. Let's pretend this is a two to one and see what happens. It could be nice. Okay, it's definitely faster to mix up. And yeah, look at that. Okay, so I can see already it's a pretty nice and it's much smoother. So let's see what happens when I add my teal to it. Okay. Nice, I do, is it slightly lighter? Cause there could sometimes in these, um, Deep bases, there is a, like in the Glidden one too, there is a bit of titanium in them. So let's compare. So that's the 3300. Get my air bubbles out. This is 8300. So I don't know if you guys can tell, there's slight lightness, a little bit more in the 3300. Nothing that you would really care that much about. Let's see if I add a touch more. But that's why you don't really want to add your pigments to this. Add it a touch more. Because um, you don't want anything to screw up your sparklies. All right, I'm just going to leave it as it is and accept it's just slightly lighter. Again, it doesn't bother me that much. I can just see it slightly. Oh, my phone's going to die. Hold on. I can see it slightly. I don't know if you guys can, but not a worry. All right, now let's try the tube paint. I'll do again, two to one. I might need a little bit more of the Joe Sonia for the tube paint, I don't know. Okay, so we've got about a two. Got about a one. Mix it up, see how we're doing. All right, a little thick, so I know I'm gonna have to thin it out, but let's get this anyways. Bloop, bloop, two bloops. That's how you gotta measure. Mixy mix. I don't know, I mean, unless the drying is so much different, I have to put more two paint in. I don't know so far. Another blue. Okay. 
mixy mixy. It is harder because I think of the bit of the white in there. It's harder to get those streaks out. Okay, I'm definitely gonna thin it, but let's see how we're doing in comparison. You notice I put more two paint in this one and it's still lighter, if you can tell. Definitely still lighter. So I don't hate it, but let me put a little bit more Joe and I'll do another little bloop of this and see if we can do something about it. Mixy, mixy. Oh, you know what I should use for this? I got um, from, the fluid, oh, from the Fluid Art Company where you get your piggies and Aussie Floatrol. I got this mixer. I don't want to get it dirty right now, but I'm clean it. But I feel like for mixing the 3300, that would be awesome. I mix so much paints and I get so tired. Okay, we're still a little thick for my liking and definitely still streaks of white and definitely lighter. But listen, we're gonna go through with this, right? Okay, this is the last I'm doing. <laughs> this is the last I'm adding. Okay, so, okay, I'm happy with it. It's still slightly lighter, that's fine. We don't care. Okay, let's actually get to blooming, finally. Why don't I? So I have these six inch wood boards. Um, do I want it? Yeah, or should I put it? Yeah, I'll just leave it here. What I'm gonna do is, just so it doesn't fly off, and also because I don't really care about these, because I'm sure they're not gonna sell. I'm just gonna put a bit of paint here so it stays still. Okay, so today I have black Sherwin-Williams pillow. Um, Oh, here comes Mojo and Daddy. I'm just doing a quick video. Well, it's not quick anymore. I'm trying to do this quick video. So just give me two seconds. You just got this in the mail. What is it? Epoxy pigment. Ooh, I got my resin. Okay, that's a, another thing. I'm starting to play with resin pores a little bit, but we'll get into that. I'm going to put it up here. So Thank you. Know. you. Okay, so this is Sherwin-Williams Color to Go Tricorn Black. They're not making them anymore, so sorry. And we're going to start with the bear, uh, 8300, my normal stuff. I'm only putting in a little bit of paint because whatever. Okay, so the way we're going to start, and what I like to do is I like to kind of push this over the edge so when I blow, um, it doesn't kind of get stuck anywhere. Okay, now I'm going to start with a pigment. If you're just beginning, I would, I would not suggest starting with just a pigment because you want to make sure all your consistencies are working perfectly, but we're going to start with this pigment. This is the emerald. I'm not even a green person, but I love it. So remember, I mixed my pigments. I'm going to use this pigment in both, which the 8300. Okay, so we're starting with emerald. Then we're doing the teal. Okay, it's an opaque. The reason I'm putting an opaque down, it can create what I call my peacock cells. I have an earlier video, meaning other cells breaking through and having multi-dimensional colors. This is TLP ball gown, a gold interference. And I'm just gonna top it off with the Prussian blue. Oh, and my cell activator. I'm using the Shelly Art cell activator. It's white, Amsterdam titanium white, an Aussie Floatrol. Again, it's something you have to eyeball between three to one and four to one. Okay, I don't even know how this is gonna look. Let's see. Might be just an ugly bloom anyways. Not normal colors I would choose, but I wanted to kind of give options. Let me mix my cell activator up. Is it okay? Could be a little thin. Uh, are we thin? Maybe, but we're just gonna go for it. Okay. I'm blowing gently because this pillow is a little thin. And I don't want it to come up. Okay. 
yeah, it's a regular looking bloom. Nothing spectacular. Um, either we can wait till these white pieces come in or use a straw and blow on them. I don't have a straw, so I'll just wait a minute. These are, it does, it is looking kind of 3D, which is cool. I'm just not loving the middle part because that's just going to stretch. So I, what I might do is actually tilt it because I do like these edges and I don't want them to come off. Let's give it a minute. Okay, so that was the bear. Let me put the bear away so I don't get confused. Get organized here, right? All right. Well, let me, uh, what am I doing? All right, I'll just spin it because I hate warped, twisty cells anyways. Okay. So when you're spinning, you wanna make sure that you spin until the paint doesn't move anymore. All right, by the way, this is just a cake spinner from Amazon. It's called the Ohuhu, but any um, metal spinner, which spins nicely, is totally fine. So I'm gonna just keep spinning until the paint doesn't move on the bottom. Let me turn this around a bit. So these aren't like the best blooms I've ever done, but it's more of an experiment to see how they dry, how they look different. I'm curious to see how the next one is gonna look different. All right, we have a bit more paint. Do one more spin, and then we'll go on to the next. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Here she is, nice sparkle. Okay, let's put her aside. Okay, next one. Same thing, except the two paints are going to be that 3300. Okay, I'll do the same thing. So I'm gonna start with that emerald again. I remember the emerald is the 8300. You'll never take away my 8300 for my piggies. Okay, then we'll do that teal. Okay, then we'll do the ball gown. Then we will do the Prussian blue, and it actually has thickened up a lot. It's gotten pretty gloopy, which I don't like, so I'm gonna give it another little splash. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, in the middle of your painting, if you notice something, fix whatever you need to. It's a little better. It's still a little thick for me, but which is surprising, ugh, yeah. It's surprising that it's thick for me because it's supposed to be thinner, but whatever. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, well, already the cells look tighter, which is nice. We'll wait for that white to come in a bit. Definitely a, a little bit tighter for sure. Interesting. All right, let's spin it out in a minute. I'm just waiting for the, for the white to come back in. All right. All 
I don't know if we're gonna see such a huge difference when it's wet or even if, when it's dry, really. We'll see if it's worth it. Get those sides going. I'm just turning it around because I think my spinner is a bit wonky, so I want to get all the edges evenly off. I mean, I do, I might I see a, I, yeah, I think I see a bit of a difference in the cells for sure. So that could be pretty cool. Let's see how much paint we've got on. All right, I think we're good. You know what, I might like this one better. Unless I just did a bad, here, let's compare. Okay, this was the 3300. And this is the 8300. So again, when I blew out, I can see the cells were separating really fast. And sometimes that happens when it is too glossy. So you get that in the middle. Now normally, you know what? I might redo this one anyways. Um, but you can see the cell difference. These are definitely smaller. Um, should I redo this one? Cause it's just, maybe let me redo this one to see if it was just a bad blow or if, um, sorry, I'm just putting this down or if it's the paint, right? Because this is, this won't cut it for, for mummy. All right, let's do quick. Same, same, a little paint, not too much because it's already painted on there. And then this will be our final decision. I'll go fast. Emerald. Teal. Oop. Ball gown. And <laughs> I'm using the 3300. Oh my God, Lisa. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, see how organized I am when I rush? We're trying this again. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Okay, we're going over to where I put the 8300 so I could be organized. Okay. Teal. Ball gown. Prussian blue. White. A little more white, because that was weird. Okay. Oh, oh God. Here we go. I think I like this blow better. But the cells could be bigger, but definitely, you see what a different, a different blow can make? So just so you know, it could be so many problems. Oh, this actually looks better than that one. <laughs> I look, I really am enjoying these little cells. Okay, so maybe we've learned that it's just the blow, not necessarily, yeah, look at how cool that is. Again, we'll look at the drying, but these cells are really small. So that's pretty neat. If you ask me, Okay, it's gonna start, you see how all this paint is there? And I know what's gonna happen, it's gonna fly off. You should be a professional and clear off your paint so it doesn't fly off, especially if you like it. Okay, well, 
I like this, I have to say. But let's compare again. So this is the 8300. And this, now I want to do the 3300 again, but we don't have all day, is the 3300. So obviously, I don't know what you guys think, but obviously I'm still liking my 8300. But again, we notice it could just be that I, my blow wasn't great on this one, right? So the whole purpose is let's see how it dries because uh, that's going to be the real test. So I'm going to show you how it dries tomorrow. Thanks for joining. See you soon. Okay, here they are the next morning. So you'll see the 3300 has not moved at all. It's dried really nicely. I feel if I probably got a better blow, it would look nicer. So it's definitely a good option if you find that your two paints are sinking too much. Here's my 8300. Also looks good. You'll notice a little bit in the middle it dropped right here but that's only mostly because i was taking really pretty pictures of it and i moved the middle so it's probably more my fault um so if you can't really get the 8300 to behave for you with your tubes definitely the 3300 is a great option i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think